In the quietest corners of the sea, far beneath the shimmer of sunlight and the surface noise of passing waves, something remarkable takes place, something delicate, patient, and almost invisible. It doesn't roar with fire or rumble with force. There is no hammer striking rock, no heat transforming minerals. Instead, this marvel is carried out by a soft, slow-moving creature hidden within a shell. It is here, in this closed chamber, that a natural jewel begins to take shape, not in the explosive birth of stars or the grinding of tectonic plates, but in the stillness of the sea, a pearl is formed. Unlike other gemstones, which are carved, polished, or mined from the earth, pearls grow slowly, organically, one whisper-thin layer at a time. They are the only gems born from life itself, a product not of destruction, but of protection. Today we dive into the silent world of oysters and mussels to explore a question both simple and profound. How are pearls formed? Let's journey into the depths to discover the mystery behind these luminous treasures of the sea, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the pearl is to understand its home. Pearls are created by mollusks, primarily oysters and mussels, that live in both saltwater and freshwater environments. These gentle creatures, often hidden beneath the surface of bays, rivers, and lagoons, serve as nature's unlikely jewelers. Some of the most celebrated pearls come from the warm waters near Japan, Australia, the Philippines, and French Polynesia. Unlike other gemstones that are mined from the ground, pearls are created entirely within a living organism. They are organic, born from a response to injury or irritation, a process so humble and natural that it feels almost spiritual. And yet, what emerges from that quiet struggle is a gem that commands awe and admiration. It all begins with an intrusion something foreign slipping past the mollusk's shell and settling into its soft inner tissues. This intruder might be a grain of sand, a small parasite, or a fragment of organic material. It is not welcome, and the mollusk reacts instinctively, not with aggression, but with elegance. It begins to coat the object with nacre, a smooth iridescent substance composed of calcium carbonate and protein. This nacre, also known as mother of pearl, forms a protective shell around the irritant. Layer by layer, it builds a shield, not out of anger or fear, but from a need to restore peace within. It is a reaction to discomfort, but the result is breathtaking. Over time, this process repeats, sometimes over months, sometimes over years. The mollusk deposits countless layers of nacre, each one whisper thin and shimmering with soft light. What begins as a defensive act becomes one of creation. The pearl slowly grows, suspended inside the mollusk like a secret. The layers of nacre bend and reflect light in a way that gives pearls their signature luster. The smoother and more symmetrical the layering, the finer the pearl. But not all pearls are perfect spheres. They come in teardrops, buttons, baroque shapes, each one unique, shaped by the rhythm of the sea and the character of the creature that made it. Despite their beauty, naturally formed pearls are extremely rare. Only a tiny fraction of oysters ever produce one, and even fewer yield the perfect gems prized in jewelry. This rarity once made pearls more valuable than gold, sending divers into dangerous waters in search of them. In the 20th century, however, pearl cultivation changed everything. By inserting a small bead or tissue into a mollusk, farmers could trigger the same natural process of coating with nacre. These cultured pearls are genuine, but far more accessible, allowing us to enjoy their beauty without depleting the wild. When harvested, pearls are sorted not just by size and shape, but by luster, color, and surface quality. And once they leave the shell, their journey is far from over. Throughout history, pearls have graced the necks of queens, adorned crowns, and symbolized wealth and purity. In fashion, they are timeless, woven into necklaces, rings, brooches, and earrings, often passed down as heirlooms. Designers use them to add a sense of natural refinement and softness, whether in classic strands or bold modern pieces. But their reach doesn't stop at jewelry. 
Pearls are sewn into wedding dresses, embellish luxury watches, and accent ceremonial garments across many cultures. Their presence elevates, quietly yet unmistakably. But pearls don't only shine in fashion, they also hold a place in medicine and cosmetics. In traditional Chinese medicine, finely ground pearl powder has been used for over a thousand years to calm the mind, cool the body, and rejuvenate the skin. Rich in calcium, amino acids, and trace minerals, it is still found in supplements and skincare treatments today. In luxury skincare, pearl extract is added to creams and serums designed to brighten the complexion and promote cell renewal. While scientific evidence remains limited, the pearl's long-standing symbolism of purity, peace, and beauty has preserved its role in holistic wellness. From ancient rituals to high-end spas, the belief persists that the pearl offers more than just surface beauty. It radiates something deeper, something healing. And so, what began as a biological defense becomes an enduring symbol of elegance. The humble mollusk, unaware of the treasure it creates, spends years building something the world considers precious. It does so not out of ambition, but out of instinct. And perhaps that's why the pearl resonates so deeply. It reminds us that something beautiful can be born from discomfort, that quiet perseverance can yield brilliance. In a world that often celebrates speed and spectacle, the pearl offers something else, value through patience, beauty through resilience, and strength through subtlety. No wonder poets, painters, and philosophers have long seen the pearl as more than a gem, as a metaphor for grace under pressure. In the end, a pearl is not just a jewel, it is a testament, a story written not in ink, but in nacre, a history told in silence, in still water in the dark. It takes no shortcuts, it seeks no attention, Yet when it is revealed, it captures light in a way no other gem can. The next time you hold a pearl, remember this. You're not just holding something beautiful. You're holding years of transformation. You're holding the calm persistence of a creature that knew how to protect itself, and in doing so, created something extraordinary. That is the true wonder of a pearl. Not just how it looks, but how it came to be. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.